the cold, cold rain I don't even feel the pain Anything to step away I know we could both do better Wish you would've left me here Now I'm just controlled by fear What's the point in our reflection If you never look in the mirror Counting the days until you're gone Waiting for us to carry on Oh, I'm running, what am I running from? Time's going by, but where's the time going? I tried to give you everything You took it all and took it for granted If you're still falling out of love Maybe it's cause it's not enough How are you doing? I hope that you're all doing good and keeping safe. Wow! <laughs> Today I'm so much excited because finally I get to reveal my baby's nursery. Wow! I'm so much excited because uh, when I was working on this nursery, I was just relying on faith. Like I was pregnant, buying things for my baby, like preparing to have a baby, but you know, we could only prepare and wait upon the Lord to give us the baby, you know, and I'm so much excited because God is faithful and he allowed, he allowed, oh my God, what's up with me? Because he allowed us to hold that miracle, right? So as you can see, I'm standing in front of this baby crib, baby cot, because it's one of my favorite spots. Hey, first of all, guys, um... At the moment, I have worked on this nursery like uh, 70%. Let, let me say like 70% because I'm yet to get the floor mat and I'm also yet to get the the pieces on the wall, the the wall art and all. So my walls are naked, but that's just some little, some just small, small, small bits. So at the moment, we will start from here. So we have the baby pots. I think I will be mentioning where I bought these items from. Uh, I got this baby coat from Kay's Baby Shop. Um, I have really worked with them during this process of uh, purchasing newborn stuffs. Most of them I bought from them if it wasn't like uh, thrifted stuffs. So I bought it at uh, 10500 Most of you have been asking me about the prices, how much I bought the bed and the mattress. So. I bought it at 10500 bed and the mattress. So the mattress is here, as you can see. Now, before we get into the bed, let's come to this mosquito net. Uh, it is a really nice one. This is how I normally cover it up. So this is how I normally cover it up when, I'm, when the baby is sleeping. So I bought this mosquito net from Kes Baby Shop too at 2500 It has its own uh, half stand and uh, yeah, so that it can just flow flawlessly, okay? So this is how I normally open it. This is how I normally open it. It's so easy and uh, very convenient for a parent. So I bought it at 2500 It has the stand right here, half one, that is... Um, being supported by the baby cot right here. Okay, guys. Now, before we get into the into what is happening in here, we have baby monitor right here. It is here. It is the camera that normally monitor the baby. I have the monitor in my bedroom right now. The baby monitor. This is the camera, and then I have the monitor that takes the whole. Like the whole place, how the baby is sleeping, it gives me the sound. I can be able to talk to the baby while the baby is sleeping. As in, I can even literally hear how the baby is breathing and all. I got the monitor from Jimmy and you can rotate it to the angle that you want. So I got the monitor from uh, Jumia. We bought it at 10000 I think. And it was going for 20000 But we got it on offer. So you can check from Jumia baby monitors. It is really helpful because... The baby sleeps in this room from day one, and uh, it is it is his own bedroom, and I don't sleep with him, so I have to monitor the baby. So, if you are not intending, not in not, 
if you are intending to make the baby sleep in his or her own nursery, make sure that you get the monitor so that you can monitor the baby. Newborns are very, um, which word can I use? They're not fragile. First of all, they don't have characteristics of an egg, but it is good to monitor your baby closely so that you can get to see how they are breathing, how they are sleeping, whether they are vomiting, whether the milk is coming out, you know, and all, and whether they are covering their face with the shorts that they have. So, yeah. I have the camera right there. So let's come into the bed. So I have these two sausage pillows. They are here that normally support the baby at the back and at the front because I normally like to sleep the baby on the side so that if uh, in case the baby vomits the milk, the milk can just come out so easily with the head being on side. So behind this cadove, I also have this head pillow for the baby so I normally put it down there and I have this uh, it's a blanket a baby pocket that is duvet like and this is how I normally close it when the baby is sleeping and then I normally add a, a shawl halfway and then tuck it in here so that the baby remains warm without uh, feeling cold now we have the the mattress cover that is covering the mattress but again guys i have this marking torch i don't know whether you guys are able to see it let me show you i have the marking torch that i have um covered the mattress with because you know newborns can mess anytime and i don't want to have a wet mattress or a dirty mattress and all so sometimes actually most of the time i normally change the baby from uh, the cot on these uh, i normally use the small funnels place it on top of this marking torch then change the baby especially at night if i'm changing the diapers so that the baby can't cannot get feel the cold you know so i normally use this uh baby coat often to change the baby hence the need as to why i use the marking torch i think you can be able to see it right here yeah then uh, i have these coat bumpers they are really helpful Right now, because uh, the court, we are using the upper part, as the baby grows, we will be able to remove this board right here, and the baby will be sleeping down here. So when we will be using these court bumpers you, uh, on this lower bed, I think they will fit so well. But for the upper one, they are quite, the height is quite higher than the bed, but it is as as the purpose. First of all, apart from protecting the baby from the head injuries and all, as in the baby cannot get the injuries in case the baby comes to the wall, it also helps to block the cold and the baby remains warm in here as he sleeps. So I have this bumper. We bought it at 2500 also from KS Baby Shop together with these sausage pillows and the head pillow. So it was at 2500 It really helped me. The mattress cover I got it at 700. It's like a bed sheet. And this uh, baby pocket, this one, I purchased it at I think 500, if I'm not wrong, or 700. It, it is a drifted one. And the marking torch, I bought it at around 500 from Eastley. Okay? Now, before we, we, we move from this area, I have these drawers down here. This is where I normally store my the baby diapers, as you can see. So as I have told you, I normally change the baby diapers from this cot right here. So this is where I store the diapers. So we just normally come, remove the diaper, and change the baby. So I have my good stock right here. Yeah, yeah, and that's it for the cot. Now let's come to this other end. Of uh, or before we, we we move, I have this um, laundry basket. So as I change the baby's clothes, or as I change the baby's clothes from this uh, cot, maybe at night or during the day, if the clothes are dirty, definitely I will put them in this um, laundry basket. It's a really nice one, black in color. You can show them closely. It's white in color that has a black part of the lid and it is really helpful i normally make sure that the baby's clothes are washed daily so i don't stop like right now we have none all the clothes are clean now the ones that we will change the baby they will be washed tomorrow so that's the laundry basket now let's come to this other angle where we have the baby 
wardrobe now if there is a baby essential that i bought is this and i don't regret is this um it is a 12 door cabinet because these ones are green and these ones are oh this 12 door cabinet i got it from jumia at five thousand uh, the cost was around 10k but we got it on discount so we bought it at 5000 i really love to take advantage of jumia and them having discounts and it is helps me now let's go cabinet by cabinet so i have this cabinet where i have the cotton wool so uh, i normally know that when i want to change my baby's diaper i normally cut the cotton wool make it wet especially if the baby has pooped because of wiping the baby i have my arenas right here because of um oiling the baby this is another piece of cotton wool and i have more stock of baby diapers right here uh in this cabinet i have the rompers the the, the long ones these ones so if i know if i want to dress the baby these little rompers i already know the cabinet and where i need to get into Let's come to this cabinet right here. I have the baby liners, the feeder, especially I use the liners and the feeder a lot because of the because of the time I'm feeding the baby with the pumped milk. So I have the liners right here. I use liners a lot because they soak the milk that normally come out. And then I have the mittens right here. I have the cleaning clothes. So when taking the shower, the baby shower, when showering the baby, I normally have this clothing pieces to wash the baby i have uh, the hats and i have the baby care kit right here that has everything it has the brush the thing to unblock the nose the comb uh i don't know what is this i have not used it i think this one is for the ones for unblocking the nose the nail cutter nail file and all so that's where the baby care kit is. So I normally put this bag right there. Let's come to this other cabinet. I have the trousers right here. Trousers and the shorts. Uh, in this cabinet, I have the onesie, short rompers. These short ones, the onesie. They're there. Um, in this other cabinet right here, I have the shirts and the t-shirts uh, here. Uh, sorry. In this other cabinet right here, I have the shawls right there. And I think this one doesn't have... Oh, it has the stockings down there. Don't mind, I'm shooting this video at night. So I hope the lighting is really cool. In this cabinet, I have the heavy rompers. The very heavy ones. These ones and the sleeping pockets you guys i added some sleeping pockets like this one is a sleeping pocket very warm for the baby while sleeping at night um in this other cabinet i have some more clothes i think i have just gone there i don't have anything there right there and right there i still have more rompers okay guys now Let's come to this other end right here. Um, um, right here, we now have the curtain. This curtain I got from um, from Isle. <laughs> I am um, now. Let me give you the secrets to buying a curtain. Make sure that you take measurements so that the width and the length. So that uh, the curtain will not be extra long or flow or flooding on the floor. Also, go to easily in those malls. Uh, I think in the video that I did of me buying the curtain, I put the contacts right there. We bought one meter at 900, if I'm not wrong, and we bought around six meters. Six or I, don't, I can't remember. I think six meters. Um, we also got the shears. The whole curtain costed us around 9000 in and it was really worth it because this material is really nice and very heavy, very classy. Also, it normally blocks the cold in such a way that the baby normally doesn't feel the cold. Like the nursery is normally warm. Okay, so yeah, 
So this is the shears and the curtain. I got it from Isley. You can check um, at the description box of the video that I did of me buying stuff from Isley. Now let's come to this seat. This is the daddy's seat or my seat, depending on who is nursing the baby. So if I'm nursing the baby, daddy and the daddy wants to give us company, so this is the seat that he normally use. Uh, he sits right here, or if he's nursing the baby, I am right here seated, and that's how we stay at the nursery as a family sometimes. Having cause moments with the baby, it is normally very fun. Okay, guys, now let's come to this corner. As we come to this corner, we have this uh, back. Okay, let's start with this pillow. This is my nursing pillow. I normally wear it as I feed the baby, and it supports me. And also it supports my hands on how I hold the baby as I sit on the nursing seat. It really comes in handy, guys. Uh, now, this part of this bedding station, it is supposed to be a changing station. But for me, I normally use it as my, as my table. You see when I'm nursing the baby on this nursing seat, I normally place like my tea right there. If I'm taking the bone soup, I will place it right there. If I'm feeding the baby the pumped milk, I will put my bottles right here. So I normally use this part as my table or I don't know, but I don't change the baby from here. So this is like my table. And then down here, I have the the, the bathing basin. So here it is. And it is supported by this stand. That's it, guys. So the way this thing comes, this is how we normally use it. So we have that basin, we have the stand. So you can't, your back cannot hurt since the uh, the basin has the stand. And this is how we have this thing that supports the baby as you wash the baby. So you just make your baby lie here. You put water inside here and then wash the baby. There is this pipe that has fallen. So we normally empty the water with this pipe, put it into the bucket and then pour the water outside. Uh, what else? We have uh, some other space right here where I normally place the towel or something like soaps and all. Anytime I want to store something related to bathing the baby. So this is the part down here. Yeah, this one that is orange in color. And we have, you can see, as you can see, we have the the soap dish down there. Okay, guys. From there, let's come to this nursing seat. We have this nursing seat. Oh, you guys. Uh, my husband and I got of this seat and we custom made it from a certain fundi. Uh, first of all, before I get into the seat, I bought this pillow at around, I don't remember the price, was it at around 800, 1000 or around 500? I can't remember, check the items that I purchased from Eastley. And then this changing station and the bathing station, I purchased it from Junior, it was on sale. Not from Junior, from Tash Baby Store on Instagram and we bought it at 8000. It comes in handy because of especially this top right here, the changing station that I normally use as a as a table and this bathing basin that has the stand and we also have some more storage down there and it also has the the thing that supports the baby when washing the baby so especially if after giving birth your back your back cannot really hurt because you're washing the baby while standing and you don't have to use this basin to pour the water you just empty the water using the pipe then pour it so we got it at around 8k from Tash Baby Store on Instagram. Now we get to this uh, nursing seat. I have the pillow. I have been moving with this pillow everywhere. If you are an OG of this channel, you already know about this pillow. It normally says, believe in yourself. I really love it. So it supports my back on this nursing seat. Yeah, and we custom made this seat together with my husband from a certain fundi um, at around, to, at 12,000. The chair rocks and also it has, uh, it can rotate. So it rocks and it can rotate. It helps me with the baby so much. And also it supports my back and also supports my hand as I nurse the baby. Yeah. I think that's all about my nursery. And then we have the exit door right here. <laughs> and we have the bulb right here. Not a very superb one. But it blocks the baby from getting the, the direct light as the baby sleeps there. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. That's all about the nursery. It is gender neutral. 
a baby girl can use this room i didn't make it blue or pink <laughs> you know it's gender neutral i'm yet to finish because i still need some wall arts i need some wall arts i need some plants i think i need a fake plant right here at the corner i might need a wallpaper on this wall you know but you know what a day at a time and a step at a time so yeah that's it for today's video if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel make sure that you give this video thumbs up like this video as you like it it will be recommended to more people subscribe as you subscribe also my channel will be recommended to more people and uh yeah that's it share this video if there's need so if you're pregnant i wish you all the best may you may god guide you may god protect you may he go ahead of you and help you receive your bundle of joy very well it is such a good feeling to receive your baby so may god bless you may he protect you and may he bless your generation forever and ever amen so until next time guys bye and i love you so much stay tuned as i as i do the next video i'm not so sure which one that i will shoot after this it might be a self-care video to break the monotony or maybe i might now give you the video about the newborn essentials that i'm actually using some of you requested that I do the a video concerning the newborn essentials that I'm that I regret buying. I regret buying I think one or two and I shared in the previous video and I can also share with you the newborn essentials that I'm actually using. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. I love you all. I thank you for becoming part of this family. You're the best. My hug and until next time. Bye. Love you guys. See you. Standing in the cold, cold rain I don't even feel the pain Anything to step away I know we could both do better Wish you would've left me here Now I'm just controlled by fear What's the point in our reflection If you never look in the mirror Counting the days until you're gone Waiting for us to carry on Oh, I'm running, what am I running from? Time's going by, but where's the time going? I tried to give you everything You took it all and took it for granted If you're still falling out of love